We're now going to take a look at data validation and basically data validation is ensuring that the data going into our information system is correct. Okay, now this makes use of validation rules or check routines that actually check for the correctfulness, meaningfulness and security of data that is input into the system. By doing this, we increase our information systems data integrity because we know that the data in the system is the data that we are expecting. So what we're going to look at is three different types of uh, tools that can be used for checking the correctness of data once it is entered into a system. The first one we're going to look at is the range check. And basically the range check can check data exists within a certain range. So it could be 0 to 100 or A to K in the alphabet. So I'm going to enter in a piece of data here and the rule actually appears. I have to enter a value between 0 and 100. So if I enter in 99, no problems, it's all fine. I enter in 101. Okay, I get an issue, value not within the 0, 100 range. So I'll go retry, okay, and I'll put in a number like 50, okay. Now, I can make it that it actually stops me from entering the data if it's um, wrong, as it did in that case, or it can just give me a warning saying this does not comply, yet still leave the value I put in, okay, if it is an anomaly. Okay, so that's in the power of your use of the information system. Next is a type check, okay, and a type check checks that the value is of a certain type. Okay, so it can be text, number, or a date and time, etc. Okay, so let's take a look here, and it goes, please enter a numeric value. Once again, I'll put in 50, no problems. Okay, but what happens if I actually put in the number or letter A? Okay, value is not a number. Okay, retry. Let's see what happens if I put in a percentage. Once again, value is not a number. Okay, it is not complying with the data type I've suggested. So let's now put in the number 50 again. No problems. Okay, so that was checking the data type in a, di in a type check. The final one is a check digit. Now this one actually adds an extra digit to a number and it's actually that check digit that's being checked okay, against the actual database. Okay, so here if I put in the number and let's say it's a four digit code, one, two, three, four. Okay. My check digit is 10, and the actual number that would appear in my card is 123410, okay? So the 10, the 10, is the addition of the preceding numbers, okay? 1, 2, 3, making uh, 6, and 4, making it 10. So if I had then the number 3, 4, 5, 6, okay, the check digit becomes 18, okay? And it's assessing the check digit as the correctness, okay? And matching it up with the preceding numbers. Okay, so if I entered in the number 3457, well, the check digit wouldn't equal 18, and then would once again find an error. So I hope these different validation techniques make sense to you. A range check that checks that data lies within a designated range, such as 0 to 100. A type check, which checks that data is of a specific data type and is expected. And a check digit, which accumulates the value of all the numbers of, in a specific data packet. Okay and creates a check digit that is matched against when it is received.